The i5-13600K is a mid-range CPU that delivers impressive performance at a highly competitive price. It's significantly more powerful than its predecessor, the i5-12600K, but that means it's even more power-hungry and can reach quite high temperatures under load. For this reason, it's crucial to choose a suitable CPU cooler that keeps the temperature under check, maximizing performance. In this video, I've handpicked the best CPU coolers for the 13600K while prioritizing performance, value, and noise levels. Price information and all CPU coolers mentioned in the video are available in the description. So let's get started. Number 3. Thermal Wright Peerless Assassin 120 SE. Best budget CPU cooler for Intel Core i5 13600K. The Thermal Wright Peerless Assassin 120 SE is an affordable air cooler that packs a lot of cooling prowess. For me, it's become the spiritual successor to the ever popular Cooler Master Hyper 212 as the new king of budget air coolers. It has plenty of cooling room thanks to six copper heat pipes and two 120mm fans. At stock settings, it can dissipate 120 watts of heat, which means that a CPU like the i7-13600 will never heat to more than 40 to 50 degrees Celsius during gaming and other workloads. At its peak, it can dissipate 250 watts of heat, which is significantly more than the i5-13600K all-core maximum load. It stays silent even at max load because the fans only spin at 1500 RPM, which results in about 25 decibels. The direct competition to the Peerless Assassin is the Be Quiet Pure Rock 2, which is overall a much better air cooler in terms of aesthetics. It is slightly narrower in size as well, which gives it the advantage of fitting better with other cases. However, the Pure Rock 2 is rated at only 150 watts of heat, unlike the 250 watts of the Peerless Assassin, which is also cheaper, and this adds to its value even more. The only other cooler I would consider is the Cooler Master Hyper 212. However, this is designed to sustain a maximum heat output of 125 watts, which is half of what the Peerless Assassin can do. The Peerless Assassin is also compatible with many more CPU sockets. The downside of the Peerless Assassin is its large size, which is a blessing in terms of cooling performance and quietness, but makes it hard to fit in smaller PC cases. So you should ensure that whatever case you choose has at least 155mm height clearance. Overall, the Thermal Wright Peerless Assassin 120 SE is one of the most affordable air coolers that offers a lot of cooling performance for an incredibly low price. It's hard to overlook it as an option, even when looking for a low-cost cooler for a far more power-hungry CPU. All this make it an incredible budget option to pair with the Intel Core i5-13600K. Our ratings. Design and aesthetics, 5.5 out of 10. Cooling performance, 9 out of 10. Noise, 9.5 out of 10. Installation, 8 out of 10. Value for money, 9.5 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Number 2. Cooler Master Master Liquid 360 Atmos. Best premium CPU cooler for Intel Core i5-13600K. If you want a ton of headroom for performance and potential future upgrades, the Cooler Master Master Liquid 360 Atmos is one of the best premium CPU coolers, and it's perfect for the 13600K. It offers exceptional performance, a dead simple installation process, and plenty of RGB. While it is expensive, it's on par in terms of performance with even more expensive 360mm CPU coolers. But before we get into the review, it's important that you don't confuse this cooler with the Master Liquid Core line. The Master Liquid 360L cooler is the predecessor to the Atmos, and the latter is better in almost every way. 
It's easier to install, features a reworked dual-chamber pump, a better sickle flow RGB fans, and more eco-friendly packaging. Of course, that makes it a bit more expensive. To be exact, the Atmos is about 35% more expensive than the core version. However, considering all the improvements, I think it's well worth the cost. Design-wise, nearly everything is new here. It features a new copper cold plate design, Cooler Master's own in-house dual-chamber pump, and plenty of memory clearance. The radiator is also 27mm thick, which means you won't have any trouble fitting it into the case. As for the fans, the RGB lighting on the Sickle Flow 120mm version looks phenomenal, and they can ramp up to 2500 RPM. Performance-wise, the new dual-chamber pump and the high-quality fans do a lot of heavy lifting. While Cooler Master has used Asetek pumps in the past, they recently transitioned to their own designs. This new pump offers enhanced flow rate, better durability, and quieter operation. It's able to cool processors like the 13700K and the 13900K with relative ease, so the Core i5-13600K won't be an issue. But what about noise? Well, if you decide to run it at full throttle, the fans and pump can get a bit loud. The noise levels vary at those maximum levels, but that's a given considering the fans can reach speeds of up to 2500 RPM. Exact noise levels range from 48 to 52 decibels. This might not sound great on paper, uh, but these results fall in line with other high-quality 360mm coolers. Fortunately, in most cases, with the 13600K, you'll never have to run this cooler at full throttle. Within the Cooler Master software, you can normalize the audio from 35 to 38 decibels. This means that the fans and pump run considerably slower, but this still proves to be more than enough for a CPU like the i5-13600K. With these settings, temperatures never reach upwards of 60 to 65 degrees. On top of that, the cooler is incredibly simple to install. One of the reasons behind that is the fact that the fans are installed to the radiator out of the box. This saves you a lot of time, and all you have to do is install the CPU block, the radiator, and plug in the fans. AIOs can be difficult to install, and it's good to see that Cooler Master worked their way around this. Now, how does it stack up against competitors? Performance-wise, the Corsair H150i Elite and the Lian Li Galahad 2 Trinity perform pretty similarly. However, both of those coolers are considerably more expensive. The Galahad has also had reliability issues, a problem you won't have with the Atmos. All in all, this is a no-nonsense cooler that offers a lot of value. If you feel a 360mm cooler is a bit much for the 13600K, there is a 240mm version of the Atmos as well. That will still give you plenty of performance, but without the added cost of a 360mm radiator. Either way, the Atmos line from Cooler Master is very impressive. Our ratings are Design and Aesthetics, 9 out of 10, Cooling Performance, 9 out of 10, Noise, 8 out of 10, Installation, 9 out of 10, Value for Money, 8 out of 10, for an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. Number 1. Noctua NHD15 Chromax Black, our top choice. When it comes to air coolers, Noctua is as good as it gets. They've built a name for themselves by producing high-end air coolers with exceptional performance, and the NHD15 Chromax Black is no exception. It offers superb performance and even better acoustics. And although on the expensive side, the performance makes up for it. This isn't a new cooler. In fact, it's the full blacked out version of the award-winning NHD15, popular for its impeccable performance. The main issue with the original was the unorthodox color choice, which made it hard to match with builds. 
The Chromex Black version solves this problem, making it the perfect choice for an i5-13600K build. As for the design, this is a dual tower air cooler with two 140mm fans capable of operating at a maximum RPM of 1500. Because the fans are mounted on top of the CPU, they also provide airflow and cooling for other heat sinks and motherboard components. Suffice it to say, when it comes to performance, this cooler doesn't disappoint. Where this cooler shines is the acoustics. Noctua NHD15 is nearly silent, even under heavy loads. On top of that, the low noise adapters can reduce the noise further by decreasing the fan RPM from 1500 to 1200. While this may cause a decrease in performance, it's nice to have the option to decrease the noise. To top it all off, Noctua promises to offer mounting hardware for future upgrades, making this cooler a good long-term investment. On top of that, it comes with a six-year warranty, making it quite future-proof. It's worth mentioning this cooler is a bit expensive. There are cheaper options on the market, like the Deepcool AK620 and the Thermalrite Phantom Spirit, and both those options are excellent. But the NHD15 has proven to be the most reliable air cooler out there. Spending a bit more money for that peace of mind is a good idea. Ratings. Design and aesthetics, 8 out of 10. Cooling performance, 9.5 out of 10. Noise, 8 out of 10. Installation, 9.5 out of 10. Value for money, 9 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9 out of 10.